My name is Daniel Fisher. I'm with um, the broker with Park Place Realty. Uh, I'm previewing a brand new home, never been lived in, um, and I would call it a distressed home because of the market we're in. This is the master. We're starting off in the master due to time limitations. It takes less to go this way than to go start outside. Um, here's a little alcove with some substantial storage space. Hard to get to if you're very tall. There's another one on this side. His and hers. Storage. There is, you can see a house right next door. And here is the walk-in closet. Good size. They don't have anywhere to hang anything on yet. So this house is it needs some finish work, some very limited finish work, but it's all wired for internet, uh, uh, home network. I think it's all Cat5 cabling, so it's it's modern. It just uh, it was built a couple of years ago. It was, they decided not to finish it for, for obvious reasons. Market was just uh, kind of slowed real down. This is the bathtub. We've got jets, jacuzzi. Um, there's the outside, there is the water closet, nice big shower, so we can get that into focus. This is a virtual walkthrough of the house, I'm trying to give you a feel for what it would be like to walk through this house without having to walk through it. I think there's two um, furnaces, one for the upstairs, and they probably use zone, some type of zone uh, strategy for cooling and heating, because there are two air conditioners also. Right off of the uh, master, the closet, wiring closet, that's uh, where a lot of the Cat 5's terminated. Guest bedroom. Here's, I'm going to peek out the yard, the closets, some of them have doors, they're just, it's just, just some finished work that needs to be done. And this is a suite, let it focus, there we go, you can see the, the top of the um, counters haven't been complete, come on focus on me. A little light, have the electricity turned off, and that's the guest bedroom number one. Speed things up a little bit here. That's a suite, by the way. A little bath in there. Here is another bedroom. Again, just the lighting a little bit, and it's got a closet, no doors. That is the third bedroom. Fourth bedroom is also a suite. Nice big tub, which you can see. All tiled. There's a water closet. Again, some finished work needed. And that's bedroom number, let's see, one, one, two, three, four. This must be the bonus room. One of these is the bonus room. There's the attic. And once again, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yes, you can. No closet doors. Beautiful hardwood floor. Let's get that into focus. Throughout, throughout the house. It's either hardwood floor, tile, or shag. All very nice options. We'll start it upstairs, we're heading down. Here are your next door neighbors. Not a major home, but anyway, it's on a good sized lot. Here's the living room. 
Not the biggest living room in the world, but not the smallest either. There's the fireplace. Going into the kitchen. Makes a lot of focus. More unfinished work, no stove yet. Here's the sink. Go back a little bit. It is, it is a good sized kitchen with a lot of storage space. Laundry area leads into the garage. I was going to leave lights on the garage before. Let's see that place that has lights picked up. Here we go. It's just part of the workshop area here. Here is the garage, the two car garage. A little on the smaller side, but you do have this extra storage space here. You see it extends, here's the end of the garage and it extends all the way back. So, good workshop area. The lights off. And here is the dining room. Lots of light, light and bright. Finds this room. And we'll head outside for a quick look at the exterior. Tracks in the front deck. As you can see, one of the the best materials to use for, for building a deck up here due to all the wear and tear. Yeah, it's a little hard to get the contrast right. I'll move back a little bit so we can get more of a view of the entirety of the house. Circular driveway. There's the exterior of the garage. The master's up there. One of the bedrooms is there. Let's see, another bedroom up there. And this is pretty much the whole house. I'm on a time limit here for my website to be able to absorb this footage. Take a quick look down here. This is a shed that I hadn't noticed when I first saw the house. You know, meander down so you can see there's a patio. patio. And oops. there you can see the two. AC units, completely fenced patio. All the lots around here are pretty large. A few dogs that'll after they get used to you, they won't notice you anymore. And that's pretty much it. I'll give a few quick shots to the neighborhood. And basically, you're Pretty close to the center of town on Mockingbird. And the next street. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, Daniel Fisher, Park Place Realty.